Thank you, Jocelyn. Heading to the movies this weekend, there are a few big films hitting theaters. So I asked 17-year-old film critic Lights Camera Jackson for some advice on what to see and what to skip. The weekend is here, and so is a set of brand new movies. Movie release number one, Warcraft, the adaptation of the hugely successful video game series World of Warcraft. This movie cost $160 million to make. It's a big gamble for Universal. The movie is directed by Duncan Jones, the late David Bowie's son. But Jackson says the cast could leave you wanting more. But there's really not a huge cast here. Paula Patton is the biggest name. I hope this is good, I hope this is exciting. It just feels rather formulaic and basic from the trailers that we've been seeing. So will diehard fans of the video game love it or hate it? If this film stays true to the video games, then I think the diehard fans are going to love it. Those are the people who are really gonna go see this movie opening weekend, and it could make $20 million because of that huge fan base. Also hitting theaters this weekend is the sequel, Now You See Me Too, a star-packed thriller about a group of magicians. What are your thoughts on the film. I like the first Now You See Me, which came out in 2013. It's really a guilty pleasure. You have a great cast, Jesse Eisenberg, Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine, Dave Franco, and they're back for this sequel, Now You See Me Too, along with Daniel Radcliffe. He joins the cast. Ta -da! Will the second movie live up to the first? I hope this doesn't suffer from sequelitis. The first film had uh, a lot of originality to it, so I hope there's a decent story here and the visuals, the actual magic tricks. That's really what's going to make or break this movie. And last but not least, out this weekend is another sequel, The Conjuring 2, about Connecticut's very own paranormal investigators, Lorraine Warren and her late husband, Ed. What's your take on the film? Yeah, The Conjuring was really successful when it came out in 2013. It was a big horror hit at the summer box office. I think Warner Brothers has done a decent job with the marketing. The trailers have been really enticing for this. So I definitely think uh, a lot of people are going to go see this. But will it be as scary as The First Conjuring? I think it'll have enough scares and enough thrills. I think a lot of these horror movies like to raise the bar uh, as they come out subsequently. you got to throw in more scares, more thrills more surprises. Who's that? So there you have it, a preview of this weekend's big releases. Here's one reason to go check out Warcraft this weekend. When you buy a ticket at participating Regal Cinemas, you'll also receive a free digital copy of the video game. Ryan, over to you.